were here to send a loud message, and if people didn't get it in meetings, they're going to damn well get the message today. The people who are elected to work in this building here, they have put a stranglehold around your sector, and it is choking the life out of the fishery, and it is choking the life out of rural Newfoundland and Labrador. Some people may think that this is a price issue for crab in 2022. Let me make it clear. There is a lot more than that issue. This is an issue to take control of the most valuable renewable resource that we have in this province, the inshore fishery. Four or five companies controlling everything in the province, stifling fair competition. They're turning a blind eye to everything we've asked for in the last four years. We've asked the provincial government to pass legislation to limit the concentration and control of these five companies. We were ignored. Processors face no accountability in this province. They control boats with impunity, they show up to collect the bargaining and lie, and they dictate the scope of their own competition. It is time to open up this province to outside competition. That's a good uh, segue for the Minister of Fisheries to have a few words. One thing you can get clearer today, you want somebody to blame, so put it on the shoulders of the man who carries the, the position of Minister of Fisheries. So I'm 58 years old, and for 58 years I've been a bayman. So in 58 years you haven't realized how long this has gone on? I've seen the fishery for And what has been done for. about it? Deadly squat! I know this industry, I've lived in it, but I know you need somebody to blame. We are on the eve of a fishery. But if you're not listening, the government is not listening to the things that we want to change. You stand up and you say on the eve of the fishery, but and you have the price. It should be done, my buddy. If you were doing your job and the government was doing the job, this would already be done. Saying that he knows the industry, but at the end of the day, and his response to some of the questions and concerns was, I don't, I'm not really sure what rural Newfoundland he's from, but uh, it sure seems like. Uh, he don't make any decisions in his department. I still don't believe that the minister, Minister Bragg, you heard any of the questions and requests from people here today. That's the problem. But I can come up and talk to that statue and I feel like I'm getting the same result. And I'm not going to stay here and to be confronted, but I will walk down and talk to people in the group. What are you going to do from today forward? Sort of one voice you're looking for a fair price, right? We're looking for a fair price, yes, we've always right. been looking for that. That's but what that's we're all wearing. None of us matter today on your fair price. Let's be fair. No, that's not no, no, no. He was not listening to what we said. Fishermen explicitly said this is not about just this price today. It's about fair competition, it's about more transparency in fish bargaining. None of these people here uh, want to see product leave. The problem is, the government have created an environment where there's no real competition. We're seeing fishermen get way less for their catch than they should be, and they're just backed in a corner. The finger got to be pointed back at the fish companies who are doing this, and the provincial government who can do something about it. And we must hold these companies accountable. Increase the competition, show companies that we won't be screwed over, won't be manipulated, while they continue to act like a cartel. Our fishery is strong, this union is strong, and together we will be heard.